Hey, what's up, everybody? Congratulations. You've just found the best podcast online anywhere. My name is Dan, and this is The Diary of a Couch Potato. Welcome back. Like I said, my name is Stan. This is the first ever podcast of the Diary of a Couch Potato. And basically what it boils down to is I'm tired of a lot of shit that's going on out there in the world. Uh, It's just been very difficult with Rona. That's what I like to refer to her as. And just a lot of weird shit's been happening. But a little background on me is I recently lost my job from COVID-19 that I'd had for over 20 years. It's a good job. You know, it was a great job. That's why I stayed 20 years at it. Never thought it would uh, end up affecting me in that sense. But since that happened, I have a lot of spare time on my hands, and I might as well just use what spare time I have annoying the piss out of you people. Sometimes I get on these little tangents, and I make people mad. And if I offend you, good. That means I've done my job for today. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, my fiance. She never worked. She stayed at home because I made good money and took care of everything that she needed. And now that I'm not working, she's went full-time at a job that she wanted to have. She just felt like she needed something to do, and the roles have reversed. It's just my whole entire life has just been heaved up, turned upside down, and it's weird. You guys have probably went through the same thing, would be my guess. There's a lot of people out there that just went through this same situation. But I figured I would use the situation to pay off my house because I only owe about $7,000 on my house. And with this extra $600 that the government is giving us a week, July 31st, I'll have my house paid for. So I guess it's a win-win. I guess it's a good thing that it happened the way that it did. But the reason I'm here, my diary entry for today are people and mask. Now, I get why they want you to wear a mask, and I wear my mask when I'm in public, but I I don't wear it just to protect me from you. I'm protecting you from me because I don't know where the hell you've been or what you've been around and what you come in contact in, and the last thing I want to do is take something home to my family, and I don't want to be in contact and give it to you and not know that I had it. Then you take it home to your family. Therefore, that's why I wear a mask. And I sanitize my hands as much as possible, wash my hands as much as possible, and I also social distance myself from other people. But here lately, I've seen some total disregard for social distancing. Like, I'll be standing in the store in line, and it's clearly marked on the floor where you're supposed to stand at, and I can feel people breathing on my fucking neck. Literally, I can feel the air coming out of their nose or mouth or whatever they're doing and it's hitting me in the neck and I get so so mad and I, I've said you know things to a couple people but I've tried to be nice about it but I think from here on out I'm not going to be nice about it because dude look it's marked on the floor you're supposed to be over there you're not supposed to be close enough to where you can lick me on my ear <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying it's stupid I don't know what's wrong with some of you people. Some of you people may be the same way because it's people that you least expect. It's like they don't give a shit what's going on. The rules don't apply to them. I can stand any fucking where I want to. Well, yeah, but times are different. Things have changed, and you need to be a little more respectful to your fellow human. It's just courtesy is all it is. Courtesy. It feels good to vent sometimes. And uh, it's just weird, like Walmart, man, people going the wrong fucking way. I know there's no rule that says you have to follow this path through the store, but if it's marked on the floor, try to at least make an effort to make, make yourself look like you're following the store's recommended guidelines. Because if you're coming down the wrong way, I'm looking at you like, well, this guy's a fucking idiot. He can't read what's on the floor. Or maybe you just don't care. A lot, of pe- a lot of you people don't care right now. Especially you big city people. You people in these big cities, man, y'all got some fucking problems. I live out in the country, out in the middle of nowhere. You might be able to tell in my in my voice. I have a southern accent sometimes, but I think it's got a... 
it's starting to go away because I was aware of it and I tried to control it and it made me sound stupid but it's coming back now because I've learned to let go but anyways that's my entry for today it's about all I had on my mind I'll do a couple of these a week probably and just let you guys know what's going on I'm bored I need to have a little fun I need some place to go to let shit out or I'm gonna go crazy or drink myself to death but anyways appreciate you listening I'm gonna try to keep these short whenever I do them and peace out Holmes <laughs>